It can be difficult to find out where your experience and education line up to find the right job. And this is especially the case with a federal government job. If you want a government job, you will find yourself looking through hundreds because that's how many government jobs exist. There's hundreds of them, right? Everything from plumber to analyst to financial specialist to training, they have them all out there. Which ones do you qualify for? Well, that's a big question on a lot of people's mind. I was scrolling through LinkedIn and I found this gem of a post. They dropped a pro tip, helping college graduates pick their job series on usajobs.gov. So I jumped all over this. I thought this was a great opportunity for USA Jobs to provide some transparency, to provide some clarity to help job seekers to show them what they could be eligible for. So the first one looked all right, it was 0500. My initial impressions were pretty good. I looked at accounting, an accounting major. So obviously 0500 is gonna be in there, right? 0500, that job series covers accounting. It covers budget analysts. It covers a lot of positions like that. But then I saw highway safety. What does highway safety have to do with accounting? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think this would be a good match. Then what, what really interests me, I wanted to see what degree would offer the most possibilities for government jobs. Which one is it? Is it gonna be business, right? Is it accounting? Is it gonna be IT? No, it's none of those. Do you know what degree had the most job opportunities? According to this list, it was zoology. Now, I don't know if you know what zoology is, but if you don't, it's basically the study of animals. It's the behavior and classification of different animals. And it seems like if you earn yourself a degree in zoology, USA Jobs thinks you could qualify for 26 job series. Jobs like paralegal, investigation. I don't know how that a zoology degree is gonna make you eligible for all these jobs. I think this was a mistake. I don't think this is accurate. I mean, are you kidding me? This cannot be true. So that makes me question the whole list. Now, I think the intentions were good, right? It's a step in the right direction, but you can't just look at education majors when you're trying to align jobs in the government. One of the main reasons why is it doesn't take into consideration a person's experience. It takes their, into consideration their education, but not their experience. And the two are not necessarily related. This is because we have a lot of older adults going back to school. There are some people I talk to that are in their 40s and 50s that are going back to school for 12 months to get a graduate certificate so that they're eligible for the recent student pathway so they can get into the government through another path. So you have people later in life that are going to school and they have a, a plethora of experience that's not associated with their degree program. So it doesn't consider that. But let's say you're a 20 year old, right? Say you're 19, 20, 21, and you're brand new to the workforce, you still have experience. Even if it's volunteer experience, even if it's minimum wage, you have done things that give you experience that could be relevant for that job, depending on which one you apply to. So you cannot look solely at the education. Another thing that surprised me about the degree in zoology, that was the only degree that was lined up with the 0343 series. And I know that's not true. There are a lot of degrees. In fact, you don't even need a college degree. Throw the college degree out the window. There's a lot of people that have been working one or two years that qualify, that are eligible for 0343. Same thing with 0301, right? Every one of those degrees should have had 0301 underneath it. This is because if you take a person that has been working towards their degree for four or five years, they have come across administration functions, administrative functions. So they understand how to use a computer they know, how, they know how to make trackers. They know how to process paperwork because they've been a student and they've been doing it with their professors for four or five years. Now, I know it seems like I'm being a little hard on this list. I do think it's a good first step, but we really need to try to make a little bit more of an effort to show people what they're actually eligible for when it comes to federal employment. This list could be a decent place to start in the beginning if you're about ready to graduate or maybe you just graduated Look at the list and see if there's any value in it for you. But what I think is better is the OPM Job Series Handbook because you can actually search through there and look at the things that you've done in your past, your actual experience. So put the verbs in there. What have you done? 
right? Have you processed something? Have you coordinated something? Have you analyzed something? Put those words in the job series handbook. You will find which jobs are more related to your experience. So for me, it's more about focusing on what you did, your experience, rather than looking at education. Because yeah, you can qualify for certain jobs with education only, but that's only up to GS11. And for GS11, for education only, they want you to have a PhD. And we know most Americans do not have PhDs. So I find more people end up relying and leaning on their education to get better jobs in the government. This is such a common question. I actually went through some conversations I had with people to identify the right job for their experience. If that interests you, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.